Hello, welcome to another video. This is the proof of the power rule in a very, very weird, tricky way. I already did a video how on how you can obtain the power rule, this formula, the derivative of x to the n being n, this, um, x to the n minus one, which we always use um, when we do differentiation of polynomials generally. But I want to do it another way. Well, it might look like a trick or a gimmick to some people, but it's real. Okay, let's get into it. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say we want the derivative of x to the n. That's what we want. And we want to make sure that this is what we get. So I'm going to say let y be x to the n. You can't do anything about that. That's true. Because y is just y. <laughs> so see what I'm going to do? I'm going to say if I take the natural log of y, it means I'm taking the natural log of x to the n. That's also true. What if I apply the law of logarithms and I take this guy down, it becomes ln x. And this is still ln of y. And this is where we begin. So I'm going to say that if I take the derivative d dx of ln y, will be equal to the derivative also d dx of n ln x. So, if I differentiate a natural log function, remember what I say? It's the derivative of the inside divided by the inside. So, the derivative of the inside is y prime divided by the inside over y. That's how you take the derivative of any natural log function. Okay. On the right hand side, well, this is a constant. I'm differentiating with respect to x, so I can just keep the n. And what's the derivative of natural log of x? We know that it's 1 over x. Nice. So what is y prime? Well, y prime, if I multiply both sides by y, is going to be n times 1 over x times y. Watch this. This is the same thing as n. What did we say 1 over x is? It's x to the negative 1. That's how you write it when you're dealing with laws of exponents, right? And what is y from the beginning? We said let y be x to the n. So times x to the n. Ladies and gentlemen, this is n times x raised to you. Add these two together, you get n minus 1. And what is y? We said y was x to the n. So this is what we want, x to the n prime. Never stop learning. Doesn't stop learning, have stopped living. Bye bye. 